Right, we're standing in a field of um, um, a 20 acre field of arable cropping. On this side, what I'm standing in now, this was drilled on the 1st of May as a wild bird mix. Um, this is to help my grey partridge chicks to feed on the insect life this produces. And later in the year, it produces seed heads like the triticale. We've got kale in here, which produces a seed as well. And that's all great for the, um, the finches and the small farm land birds that walk into here and feed into this. This crop will then go on a year later and it stands as a lot taller crop, something like this, but I can show you this a bit later. It's um, rotated every two years, but if it lasts long enough, we can rotate it every third year. The crop we're standing in now, this is called chicory. This is a, a follow-on from the previous crop you saw me in, which has got the mustard and the and the triticalian that we're feeding the birds through the winter. So this was drilled a year last May, and now it runs into a crop of this height. This produces the lovely blue flowers, which creates a bit of seed, and then these feed the finches later in November, December time. The idea of this cut walkway that I've done through here is for the grey partridges that have been hopefully been nesting in here this year, this gives them an area of clean ground for them to come out and dust on and then they can go back into the rough, into the cover and then that protects them from the sparrowhawks. Um, a biggest problem with having our grey partridges is we have an increase of sparrowhawks and kestrels and whatever. So as we can't control those we have to try and make the habitat as beneficial for the grey partridge as we can. This cover of chicory, this will stop this height now for another year. It doesn't break down, it is like canes. So if the grey partridges are in here or just feeding on the outside, a sparrowhawk can come in and it can't actually get in and take the grey partridges. My pears are very vulnerable from the sort of 1st of March to the 1st of May before there's um, more conservation, more growth in the countryside to protect them.